Hi, uh, the objective of this session is to uh, describe Hilbert space. Um, I want to start with a joke. Um, uh, so there is a guy uh, asked uh, his girlfriend, uh, do you know Hilbert? Um, the girl said, um, I, I don't know, who is Hilbert? Then this guy asked her, uh, asked his girlfriend, um, then what is it, wh what you doing uh, in his space? Um, obviously the girl was so puzzled. Um, I know this is a kind of a dry joke meant for uh, mathematicians. Um, again, the I'm trying to um, make it um, easy for you to understand the joke by end of the session. Maybe I will repeat the joke a joke at the end of the session to see whether it makes sense after the after my description of um, uh, of Hilbert space. Um, uh, let me start with the definition of a Hilbert space. Uh, Hilbert space uh, is an infinite dimensional uh, complete inner product space. Again, Hilbert space is an infinite dimensional complete inner product space. I know I'm simplifying this as much as possible. Um, first, let us see what is indimensional, infinite dimensional uh, space means. So let us take a simple uh, Cartesian coordinates, right? Let us say this is x1, x2, and we have a point uh, x comma x1 comma x2, right? And let's say this is in a, a real number space. Then we can, and and let's say x x1 x2 then we, we write, generally write this x belongs to two dimensional space right so let us say if this expands more say this is three dimensional now then it becomes three dimensional and if it is uh, say x is equal to x1 x2 say xn this means that we are talking about in n dimensional space then we can write x belongs to r of n and say if uh, we take x goes to infinity right um, this is like each x1 is a you know imagine expand this into a infinite dimensional space right then x belongs to r of infin infinity so this is basically an in infinite dimensional space. X belongs to infinite dimensional space. So again, Hilbert space is an infinite dimensional space. So I will go to the inner product. What does inner product mean? Um, <clears throat> so inner product, say let us say, we, let's take a vector. Say let's go to our famous uh, psi functions. Um, let's say um, psi and phi are two vectors and the inner product of this two vectors I think this is, um, is given by um, and let me define this is equal to say uh, 1, 2, till n let's say n-dimensional Psi of 1, Psi of 2, Psi of n. And then the inner product of these two vectors is given by See again, if this is a complex, uh, if this uh, vector is in a complex space then uh, it will become a complex conjugate. Let's say if it is in a real, then basically uh, there is no conjugate, right? So let me take some example here. Uh, so what we are taking, what what you're saying here is that uh, uh, you know, x1 phi1 plus psi2 phi2 um, basically n phi n. 
so this is this will basically you know, I mean a real number this will become a number right um, whereas if it is a in a complex plane then it becomes a complex number uh, so in the product space right I mean here we say an infinite dimensional complete in the product space as a Hilbert space so what does the inner product space means inner product space um, inner product space you know when uh, a vector space which has an inner product is called a vector space which has an inner product is called a inner product space. It's a very simple definition. So the infinite dimensional complete in a product space. Right now let's say complete. When when we say a complete um, uh, right uh, so let me take a sequence say x1 comma x2 xn right this is a sequence. Um, so let us say if uh, I write like this and say this is like uh, so let's say picture really seeing if this x1 and xn it doesn't converge um, then it is not said to be a Cauchy sequence. Cauchy is the name of a mathematician so if the sequence doesn't converge it basically keeps access or diverge.